What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be testing out some Dreamcast emulation on the Raspberry Pi 4 using the all new stable release of Laka. Now I previously posted a video testing out some N64 games and performance was really really good. If you're interested in checking that video out, link is in the description. But I had a lot of requests to test out some Dreamcast games so that's what we're going to do today. In this video, I have 11 games to test, and in the past, I kind of gave up on Dreamcast emulation with the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 3B+. But with the Raspberry Pi 4 and a nice little overclock, things are looking pretty good. And by the way, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 4GB model. I have the CPU overclocked to 2GHz and the GPU overclocked to 675MHz. And the emulator core I'm going to be using is Flycast. It was previously known as Raycast, but it's been changed to Flycast. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of testing. So first up, we have Sonic Adventure 2. This is a game that kind of lags on lower end hardware, so I figured I'd go ahead and test it first. Now, while I do have the FPS listed in the top right hand corner, I don't think it's correct for some of these games you're about to see. This is without frame skip, but I'm about to turn frame skip on. I just want to show you how it performs. We'll just go to one in the settings. And this is with frame skip on. So I'd actually prefer playing this with frame skip off. It's, I've personally always hated frame skip because it makes everything so choppy as you can see here. I'll go ahead and turn frame skip back off. And even though RetroArch is saying that we're running at 36 FPS, it actually feels a little faster than that. The game feels pretty good with frame skip off. Most of the games you're about to see here actually perform really well. And in my opinion, we need to take that FPS counter inside of RetroArch with a grain of salt because some of this stuff is running at full speed. So with each one of these games, I will have the FPS counter on. I'll also have box art on screen so you know it's playing at any given time. Obviously, this is the best version of Soul Calibur. It's reading at about 57 to 58 FPS, but if you didn't have that frame counter on, you'd never notice it. You win battle two, fight! Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is a relatively easier game to emulate on lower end systems, but I do notice some lag here. We are not at a complete 60 FPS, but I don't think we're at 45 either. Here's the Dreamcast version of Revolt. Even though that FPS counter is registering around 24 to 25, I really think we're close to full speed. This game is definitely playable on the Raspberry Pi 4 running Laka with that overclock I was talking about. So try doing this with the next few games that come up. Watch for about 10 to 12 seconds and then look at the FPS counter. Don't look at it when the game comes up and you can be the judge.
Though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. What scabrous wretches are these? Sure, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Hey. Hey, mister! Let's play baseball! Sorry, maybe later, okay? I should buy one. This is cool! Maybe I should get another. Hey, what's this? I completely understand that Dreamcast emulation on the Raspberry Pi 4 is far from perfect, but it's miles ahead of the old Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 3D+. I'd say within the next couple months, we will get full speed emulation out of Dreamcast, and right now some games feel like they're running at full speed. It's really hard to tell with that weird FPS counter going on, but overall, I had a great experience playing Dreamcast on the Pi 4, running Laka with an overclock. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Were some of those games running at full speed? Was that FPS counter off? Because I've played a lot of these games running in RetroArch on different systems, and I felt like the FPS counter was way off for some of this stuff. Links for everything I mentioned are in the description. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, 
Thanks for watching.